In this video, we are going to look at some examples of solving trig equations. Please will you pause the video and try these examples on your own. You need to give your answers correct to one decimal place. Number one, determine the values of A and B in the right angle triangle T, U, W. Okay, so if we have a look, the angle that we have been given is at vertex T and it's 47 degrees. So we need to start off by defining the sides of our triangles in relation to that angle. So the side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. The side that lies across from the angle is the opposite side. And the side that lies against the angle is the adjacent side. Okay, so we need to set up some equations in order to solve for A and B. Now, if we start with um, side marked A, a is, the is on the hypotenuse of the triangle, and the side that we've been given is the opposite side. So the ratio that combines opposite and hypotenuse is the sine ratio. So the sine of 47 degrees will be equal to the opposite side, which has a measure of 30, over the hypotenuse, which is A. We don't know the value of A. Okay, so we need to solve for A, so we start off by multiplying both sides of the equation by A, and then to get A by itself, we need to divide both sides by the sine of 47 degrees. Once you have isolated A, you punch 30 divided by sine 47 into your calculator, and you get 41,01, which rounds off at one decimal place to just 41,0 or 41 degrees. If we now look at side B, B is the adjacent side. Whenever you are, um, I beg your pardon, A shouldn't have, it's not 41 degrees, it's the length of a side, so it's just 41. Whenever you are looking for the length of a side and you've already found a side like we have with A, try to always use the side that was originally given to you because that side hasn't been rounded off. So when we come to find uh, side B, we are actually going to work with the opposite and the adjacent sides, which is the ratio of 10 of 47 degrees. So 10 of 47 degrees will be the opposite, which is 30, over the adjacent side, which is B. So if we Solve for B, it will work out exactly the same way. We would times both sides by B and then divide both sides by the 10 of 47. So 30 degrees divided by the 10 of 47 degrees also rounds off to 28. Okay, question two. Calculate the value of theta in the right angle triangle MNP. Again, we need to identify the hypotenuse, which is the side opposite the right angle. The side opposite the given angle is the opposite side, and the side that lies against the given angle is the adjacent side. So the two sides that we've been given are the opposite and the adjacent. So that means that the tan of theta is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. Whenever you are solving for the angle in a, uh, in a trig equation, you need to use the shift tan on your calculator. That gives you the inverse of tan, which solves for the angle. And the shift tan of 41 over 24 is equal to 59,7 degrees. Okay, and then finally, question three. Solve for theta. Here you weren't given a triangle. You were just given the, the ratio. So 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 is equal to 2 comma 3. We first need to get the trig ratio by itself on one side of the equation. So we start off by subtracting 1 from both sides. So 2 comma 3 subtract 1 is 1 comma 3. We then divide both sides by 2. So 1 comma 3 <coughs> divided by 2 is 0 comma 6 5. We can then do to find the value of 2 theta, we need to do the shift cos of 0, 0,65 and that gives us 49,45 etc etc. Divide both sides by 2 in order to get the value of theta and at that stage we can round off and the answer is 24,7 degrees.